guy had made signs. He was like, Petra, Freddie, we are too short. <laughs> oh, like, like it was our concert. <laughs> <laughs> and we used to just, see, we had a lot of rappers that would do freestyle. But like Short said later, it's pay style, right? So we like, man, we never, ain't rapping. Never you know, rapping free. cats would come up to us and just want to battle, man, right here. Never had right to, here, never, man. Never did a cypher. Never, <laughs> you, could, you, could, you weren't even worthy to battle for anything too short. That wasn't, that wasn't even it. Yeah, you couldn't even see that. Now, right. you know, uh, Fred, a lot of people said that Too Short can rap, that there's no lyrics with it. The style is just about bitches and hoes. Explain to me your lyrical style, you guys, your, two, your team. What was so dope about Freddie B and Too Short, the lyrical content? Well, you kept it real? Yeah, well, here it is. We both came up in somewhat middle class families, mm -hmm. but where we were hanging out was on the streets with the pimps, the prostitutes, the players, the D boys, the drug dealers. So that lifestyle would have short writer rap like Pimpology. And that would just chronicle what we saw, what we were living, because I grew up in West Oakland as well, right by the Continental Club where they filmed the Mac. So all I saw was pimps, players, dope dealers, junkies. And if we stopped somewhere and somebody said a slick word, like some new slang we never heard, we're like, what's that new word? Man, it's on the song the next day. It's whatever new fashion come out, we mentioned it. It was everything. But you're everything. Right. But it was really a mirror, a portrait of our, our environment, our society, where society was. That's why I'm trying to follow it. To it you know, when you talk the lingo of the neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? We listen to rap music. It's all coming from New York. We love it. If we dance at it at the party, dance to it at the parties. But then you got these other cats that's from where you from. It's the early days of rap. We're not talking about now. Right. We're talking about all you heard was this one rap. It wasn't that coming from LA. Right. Hadn't even LA hadn't even started yet. Yeah. Just putting, just putting that shit out on the streets straight to you. Here. In your hand. Yeah. Now a lot of people said that at some point, uh I think T Show was saying that people was like your tape was ending up in LA. Your yeah. tape was ending up in Texas. Yeah. All over the place. Why did that feel to start? Man, we got famous in places like Hunters Point, <laughs> Fillmore, Vallejo, Richmond, all off dub tapes. We never even sold a tape out there. Right. And we was popping out there. Bootlegs. That